we're on the road again and this time we're going to Gotham they've got a really good car boot there um, Sunday afternoons and it's not what you think it is Gotham it's not a crime ridden city full of evil and mystery but merely a little village in Nottinghamshire I got quite triggered during this car boot and I want you to stay tuned to the end because I want to find out if that I've overreacted so not a lot of filming at this car boot I've taken a few clips as I'm going around but the focus is to go and find bargains I will also be talking about a bit of a moral dilemma that I had at the car boot and obviously showing you all the pickups because I did pick up a couple of cool things Some of these hero clicks figures do quite well, but to be honest, it's, it's quite a risky thing because a lot of them fetch pennies, so he wanted £20 for more, so I just decided to leave it. This store managed to pick up a pretty decent camcorder, a Bratz doll, and also a pair of North Face boots. Some pretty decent swish mallows here. In this store, I picked up a now 23 fat case CD, and this dog, there's a story to this. So the couple that was running this store, you know, they're just really nice people, really decent. I uh, kind of felt a lot of empathy for them because they're being really low-balled on this dog. This woman was offering like two quid, and it was five pounds she wanted for it. And I said to her, she goes, I don't know what it's worth. So I, I Google searched it. And it came up with £60, 67 around about that mark. So I told the people what it was worth. I said, you should put it on eBay. And then they said to me, do you want to buy it? She said, you can buy it for £5. And I was like, are you sure you don't want to put this on eBay? And she was like, we don't want the hassle of posting it and the breakage and everything else. So, you know, I, I did tell the people what it was worth. And £5 was what she wanted, so I took it. Probably should have uh, brought these New Balance 574s, but they were absolutely decked. Similar pairs go for quite a bit of money. This was another great find. Leeds United manager's football coat, £2. So this is the store that I got really triggered on, and I'm going to explain why. Okay, this is some terrible recording coming up. I must warn you. I was basically holding my camera in my hands, still filming, not knowing that I was filming as I was going through a bundle of clothes. But this is the bit of the car boot that triggered me. And you don't really see much in this video, but you do hear me say, oh my God, I'm going through somebody's life. So here it is. So at this point of the filming, I was on friendly terms with the store holder, but things did go a little bit sour later on. Items from 50 pence. Shirts, jackets, jeans and jumpers. That's modern one, isn't it? It's a modern version of Parker. Oh, it's shredded. <laughs> I thought I got an old Parker then. Shredded, that one. You don't see them Parker coats now, do you? Yeah, it's, it's a modern one, but it's nice. I was going to get it, but it was shredded. It's like literally shredded all the way down. I bet you've got quite a few more car boots than that. Ah, bro. Do you know, this is so sad. There you go, mate. Keep digging up somebody's life. Shirts, jackets, jeans and jumpers from 50 pence. Okay, so the guy at this store, he kind of like duped us a little bit. He was shouting that things were starting at 50p and I asked him what his 50p 
And he said to me, the clothes on the mat, except for the trainers, which was fine. So I decided to have a, a dive through the mat. And uh, the clothes, there were some decent bits. There were some bits that weren't that good. But what sort of resonated with me was I was feeling like a bad energy, like a bad vibe from this clothing. And it's one of those things that I have that's really hard to explain. Ever since I was a kid, I pick up energy on objects. So that's why I sometimes tend to avoid like house clearance uh, stores. You know, um, it's weird to explain, but if I get something that's got bad energy, I generally don't pick it up. Or if I do get it, I'll put it in my car, not have it in the house. So it's one of those things that's really hard to explain. Anyway, um, two things that triggered me. One, that he overcharged us. And first of all, which I'm going to come to now, secondly, is the fact that you heard me comment that, oh my God, this is somebody's whole life. What happened was when I was going through the clothes, I was picking up photos, lots of photos, and they were telling a story. And I was really triggered, like in my heart, you know, it really pulled on me because you were seeing baby pictures, toddler pictures, family photographs. And then you started seeing the personal documents. So I said to him, I said, you know, this is bang out of order, all this, this personal stuff, which he'd obviously cleared out of somebody's house. Shouldn't be lying on a, a car boot mat. That kind of like pissed him off, I can tell. And um, it was like, you know, joking about it. He said it was a French speaking African family that lost their home. And when they lost their home, I lost everything in it. So he was selling that off. You know, I was coming across school homework folders, documents. So from Loughborough, that's all I know. And for me, it just didn't feel right. I don't know what your thoughts on that, but somebody's whole personal life just being thrown on a mat. When I was giving him the photos, he was just chucking them in a box, which I presume was a box of rubbish. Now, this is where I failed. What I should have done, and if I could go back in time, I would do it, was I should have took those photos and I should have put them on Loughborough Spotted and tried to locate the family. And I know a lot of you will say to me, you know, your chances of doing that are very slim. But for me, it's, it's a matter of valour and honour because um, if I could have actually succeeded in getting them photos back to the family, that could have made a huge difference to somebody's life. Not like huge, huge, but it could have been a good thing, a positive thing. And I didn't do it. So next time I will. Next time I will. And a lot of people will say that, you know, you probably would fail to find the people. And I probably would fail. But if I had succeeded, you know, that would have been a really powerful statement. Much more powerful than finding a £100 item. So, yeah, that was the first thing. I don't know whether people agree with me, but I don't think somebody's personal items like that should be thrown all over a car boot mat. And um, it's not the first time I've seen this. It's happened before. So the second thing was, um, obviously, it was like indicating that all the clothes are 50p. So I bundled them all up. Now my knee's gone. So I was struggling on my back. My back went on me last week. So I was kind of struggling going through the clothes, um, struggling to get back up afterwards. So Stacey, my partner, bless her, she was creating a little bit of, say that right, she was creating a little bundle together of all the stuff I picked up. And then... Um, Stacy was paying for him, so I had to borrow some money off because I ran out at that point. And he charged the £25, and I thought, if these are 50p items, that is odd. I knew the shoes were £3, that equates to £9, but we didn't buy a lot. And yeah, he charged £25, he was charging £2 an item in terms of clothing. Um, I think that the karate kits were like 4 or something like that. Anyway, we realised there was a couple of items in there that we didn't want that basically ended up in the bundle by mistake. And I said to him, look, you know, these weren't things that I wanted. Can I change them for something else at least? And he goes, no, all sales are final. There was loads of clothes on the mat and he wouldn't let me change the things that we picked up in error for something else. That is bad. For me, that is that is really bad um, way to treat people, particularly if you're a uh, you know, if you're a regular there and you wanted to sort of build a rapport with like people that are buying. So you might think I'm wrong, but I stand by what I say. I think, you know, the fact that he was putting all those photos and documents out there, bang out of order. And the fact that he basically misled us into thinking these tops are all like 50p each, and then charging us two, bang out of order. 
And also the fact that when I realised there was two tops in there that shouldn't have been in that bundle that I was charged two pound each for, he wouldn't wouldn't change them. So you know, bad experience. Just put it behind you and move on, don't you? So you know, you could put your thoughts below. I'd like to see what people think. And now I'm just going to talk about the pickups, and I'm going to see if we can salvage anything out of the stuff that we've got. Let's talk through the Gotham car boot finds. And unfortunately, I've not got a lot of room for filming stuff at the moment. And the lighting's pretty poor upstairs, so things will improve as we go on. First of all, I picked up these North Face boots. As you can see, in really decent condition. Paid £2 for them. At the moment, they're only fetching about 10 to 15 But I think because they're thermal, come the winter time, they're going to be fetching a lot more. So that was from the first store that I went to, put them there. And then also from that store, I was given this doll for free. It's a Bratz doll. You know about Bratz, they generally do quite well on eBay. This one is really beat up though, in really poor condition, haircut. So there's going to be no value in that much at all. So it would just make a nice item to bundle up with some more Bratz. So yeah, that was free. Put that there. Same store. I picked up this cam recorder, paid £5 for it, it's a handy cam. But these generally go for about, I don't know, anything from £70 to £80, but it's got no battery, as you can see, no charger, so I'll be selling that as spares and repairs. So it should go for about £30, £35. That's that. Okay, next. Right, so we've got now 23 on the fat box. So these used to sell really well on eBay. They used to be about 15 to 20 quid. Now 23 would have been about 15 quid about five years ago. For some reason, they've just dropped off. They're only worth about five to six pounds now. So it's still a really nice sort of retro thing to have in your collection. Whether I'll keep that or not, I might just donate it or something. Okay. So next we have, oh yes, mustn't forget the ornament. <clears throat> so we've got this ornament here. It's a really nice ornament. As you can see, there's loads of detail. It's a golden retriever, resin, very heavy though. And it's signed by a French artist, I don't know if you can see, 1987 by Spouse. And, you know, some of his stuff does quite well. I've been looking into it. I paid £5 for that. I did actually tell the person I was buying off, buying it off what it was worth, and they still agreed to let it go for £5. So 60 quid all day long on that. I got this just for fun, this T-shirt. It's just for me. And it is, I don't know if you can see it, it's the Wolf Run T-shirt. I think it's really cool, personally. You know my love of wolves and stuff like that. I'll be wearing that myself when I can shed a few pounds. So currently on the diet, currently on the exercise regime. We'll see how that goes. Okay. I think the last thing I brought now before I got to that store was this Leeds United jacket. Oh, sorry. Not the camera then. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but it's a Leeds United jacket by Macron. And these go for about 30 quid. So I paid £2 for that. So, yeah, I was really happy with that. Really good find. And then, of course, I went to that store where I got scammed. So I got completely scammed at this store. I think I've already told you the story. And I'll show you some of the bits I did pick up. I had to pay £25. Some of this stuff just ain't worth the paper it's written on. It just is not good stuff. The cap's okay. So the Miami Dolphin cap. That'll fetch about, I don't know, about 15, 10 to 15 pounds, but it is quite well worn. And these are really hard to sell. So it stick around for a very long time. So also I picked up some kickers. Now I did a video on kickers recently. And, you know, they're pretty decent kickers shoes. I would say they're probably early noughties. But the problem with these ones... They would have been about 15 quid, but the problem is, if you have a look, I don't know which side it is, here it is, look. 
underneath it, the sole is just really decked. I don't even know if I can sell them, sort of thing. So we'll have to see with them. We'll have to see. Same problem with the other ones that I've got, if I can find them. Oh, yeah, here they are. So these are more traditional uh, kickers, and I just love these. I love the style of them and everything. I don't know if you can see the lighting is pretty poor. I do apologise about that. When I picked them up, I thought they were, like, really good, really good condition. So these are all part of that £25 bundle. But if you look inside, as you can see, yeah, it's a bit wrecked. So, again, this is going to be a very tough sell, very tough. Whether they will sell or not, I don't know. This is my mistake. <clears throat> this is my mistake, this next one, because I don't know anything about trainers, and I'm just trying to be clever. So I bought these Nike Air Max, thinking, yeah, they look pretty decent. Did a Google search, but unfortunately, the guy on the store was watching my every move and like questioning everything I was doing. I bought these as part of that bundle. They're only worth about £10, and they're a really hard seller. There's a few stains on there, which I've got to get out. These may end up on a car boot, same as the other pairs of shoes. This store was just a complete disaster, and I might have to write most of this stuff off. So here is a pair of trousers, and these are Thai. Let me get this right. I'll say it in a minute. Thai Quan Du. That's how you say it. Can't really see the logo. So these, I've seen some of these sell for like two or three quid online afterwards. My Mrs. Stacy picked them up after watching one of the other YouTubers. And um, yeah, we thought it would be a good buy, but he actually charged four quid for these two kits. So here's the trousers for the other ones. The other ones are Blitz. So these are these are worth nothing virtually. So they'll end up on a car boot. That was part of the £25 bundle. And then there's this other international. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a karate sort of top by Blitz. That's the other part of the uniform. Again... I'd probably be looking to get a fiver for that whole outfit. So it'd just be going out at the car boot, because it's not worth selling anything for fiver. This other one's a bit more decent. It is a Taekwondo International kit, as you can see here. These are all over the place, the comps on them. They range from £5 to 20 Again, it's quite dirty, it's quite decked. It's going to need a lot of cleaning. Might just go out on the car boot. This I brought because I thought it was quite interesting as part of that £25 bundle. And it is a Patrick vintage football top. So I don't know much about it. The label inside looks very old, very vintage. I don't know what that's worth. I might just try and swing for about 15 quid on it. I don't think I'll get it. I think it'll end up on the car boot. Then I've got this Arsenal kit and... Well, it was a top. That's pretty decent. That's probably the only decent thing I picked up in there. I did question it at first because it says here um, it's made in Georgia. I've never heard of that, but I did look into it, and it's one of the diversity tops. The only thing that's going against it is the 15 at the back's peeling off, so it's going to be tough to sell it. It's kind of a small size Arsenal top. If I can sell it, it's probably looking at about 15 quid back on that one. So I've really struck out on this store, really struck out big time. These ended up in my bundle by mistake, and the guy wouldn't change them. So I've got a Loughborough Lightning top here. This is going to be very hard to sell. It's local. I've been looking to get 5 to £10 on it, but I'll try. And also another Loughborough, Loughborough football top. It's like a local football club. They call themselves the Foxes. Mm, don't know if they should be doing that. But anyway, that was part of that bundle. Won't be able to sell that, but we'll try. And this here would have been an absolute banger if it had not been so decked. It's, it's absolutely filthy, as you can see. It's got stains all over it and everything like that. But it's actually a Pathfinder's. Don't know if you can see it. It's a Pathfinder's top. And obviously, the some of these patches can fetch like £5 each. So I might sell it as it is or cut the patches off. 
also stopped at a charity shop on the way home and we had some pretty decent pickups out of a rummage box, believe it or not. So first of all, out of the rummage box, 20, these are all like four for a pound. So there's a Generation 1 transformer there. There's a knockoff transformer. This Ben 10 item, you know, the Ben 10 doesn't do very well normally, but this one is a £30 action figure and the accessories were for tenner. And we've got some Beyblade bits. And then this lady put this bag out and it was full of plain reveal. And me and my partner, Stacey, we had great fun going for it because I was picking up some decent bits. So we've got a He-Man original weapon there, Masters of the Universe. Some other action figure weapons from the 80s. They do really well, by the way. There's a little Tykes figure and Acorn Green. And that is part of an action figure too. So they were all like 20p each. My partner, Stacey, she found a load of My Little Pony accessories, so she was very happy. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and bye.